Good morning everyone. Happy Vlogmas Day 9. And I do mean morning because technically it is still morning time. Um, I'm getting into it earlier today. I'm about to make breakfast slash brunch. And yeah, just wanted to take y'all along for the journey. Um, I'm going to be making a charcuterie board later on as well as this dip, I think. Um, that would be like fun for like Christmas time or just a little party or whatever. Um, so stay tuned for that in this vlog. But yeah, go ahead and give me a like, hit subscribe, and let's go have some fun today. All right, y'all, so I am about to make some Dunkaroo dip. I saw this on TikTok as well as on Instagram, so I'm going to attempt it. If you don't know what Dunkaroo is, it is from the 90s. It's where you had like some sort of like animal crackers and like it was just like icing and you dunked it in. So yeah, I'm gonna attempt that. I'm trying to make it a little bit more point friendly, bite friendly, so yeah, let's go try to make it. All right, y'all, so you're gonna need three things for this dip. You're going to need Funfetti cake mix, a whole box. I'm using Christmas because that's what they had at the store and it's Christmas time. You're going to need some vanilla pudding. I am doing sugar-free just because I want to try to make this a little bit lower in points. If you don't want to, that's totally fine. And then you're gonna need a full package of Cool Whip. I got the sugar-free, once again, trying to make it lower in points. All right, so we're gonna put in the Cool Whip first. Look how smooth that is. I don't even know if you can. Look how smooth it is, oh my gosh. I think I should have let it thaw out. Okay, pause. Make sure that it's thawed out so it's a little bit easier. Okay, it is not all the way thawed out, but it is thawed out more. So it's a little bit easier to handle than previously. Next thing we are going to add is the Funfetti mix, whole box. Also making a TikTok of this. Then we're going to be using two puddings. And I don't know how, what the point values, bite values are on this yet, um, but I will let you know. So now that the pudding's added, we're going to mix it all up. So, um, I don't know if I've ever made the fruit dip on here before with like Greek yogurt and a tablespoon of Fed and Fuddy, but if I haven't, it's very good. And at one point on like blue and purple and like two points on green. Um, this, I'm gonna let you know if it tastes anything like that because that's really good. It tastes like, kind of like cake batter, um, but this, I don't know if you can, like, it's a whole different texture to be honest. So, I'm gonna add a few more sprinkles though. I feel like it was a little close, I pushed you back some. All right, 
so extra sprinkles. So once you're done mixing it, we're going to put it back in the Cool Whip. Um, we're gonna put it back in the Cool Whip container and refrigerate it for like an hour. It makes so much dip. This is definitely like snack on it for a few days type dip. Also, if you don't have a silicone spatula, get one. I didn't have one until a few months ago. And I don't know what I was thinking, not having one. All right, so this is going in the fridge and I will see y'all in about an hour. It's been a little bit over an hour and I don't know if you can tell, it's kind I pulled it out of the refrigerator and it had kind of expanded a little bit, but this is what it looks like. Very, it smells really good. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna try some. I might take a picture of it first actually. <laughs> All right, we got some regular animal cracker cookies. And no idea how many points this is yet. Also, my natural hair is kind of just going everywhere. That's really good. I will say, if this is too many points, the Greek yogurt dip that's for fruit is very similar and low in points. So, I need to calculate this all up, but that's an option if this is too high. And if I haven't shared that on here, I will let me know and I can send you to the person who made it up. So this is good with animal crackers, but it'd probably be really good with some apples. All right, y'all. So I'm about to show y'all how to make a charcuterie board. And yeah, let me just show you how I make it. Some of the things I will be, there's one thing that I am going to be trying that's new and I'll let you know what I think, but let's go. I'm going to show y'all me putting it on the board. All right, so first off, I got this board from someone I work with, so I have no idea where they got it from. All right, so I'm starting off with this Columbus Light Salami. One ounce is one point or bite. I just found this at Target when I went. Um, I also like their reduced sodium one, and that's three points for one ounce, but someone on Instagram had told me about this, I think the last time I made a charcuterie board, so I'm making it this time with this. I want to preface that this is for me and Jacob. So it's a two person charcuterie board. So I really enjoyed these Trader Joe's Brioche Toast and they're very good. But I only these are from our last charcuterie board. They didn't have any when I went this time. Which I mean, we don't really we didn't really need more apparently. I did pick up these yesterday when I went to Trader Joe's. They are some enchanted cracker. They're perfect for entertaining, it says. So we're gonna try some of these. So I've never used brie, but it is a soft cheese, so I'm gonna put that on here. I'm honestly just gonna put the whole thing right here. I'm going to use some of these everything cashews. All right, so this is some homemade pepper jelly. 
Um, I got this at a farmer's market. If you've never had pepper jelly, it's so good. I'm gonna use some whipped cream cheese because I don't have regular cream cheese. I wish I would have had regular whipped cream cheese, but I also don't have that. All right, so that's gonna be like dip for the crackers. I'm gonna use some unexpected cheddar. Gonna use this prosciutto. I never say that right. Add in some strawberries. Adding some cucumber. And then just for really aesthetic purposes. So this way just add a little bit touch more color if you are doing this for like Christmas for people or you're just doing it for a gathering it kind of just makes it feel a little bit more bougie <laughs> or whatever and if you want to take a picture of it it really ties it all up together really nice all right, let me show y'all. All right, y'all, so that is how you make a charcuterie board. Um, I love making these. I'm a very big snacker. Um, so this looks honestly very pretty in my opinion. But I hope that y'all enjoy it. Um, if you've never made one, maybe now you'll take some time and do it. It's really easy. It's fun. It's a creative outlet that you can do. And yeah. Anyway, I am probably going to end this vlog here. So if you haven't already, give me a like. Hit subscribe and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.